Welcome to this tutorial about the Centrion host discovery functionality. In this video, you will learn how to quickly and easily monitor a complete VMware infrastructure using the Centrion plugin packs and their host discovery rules. We will demonstrate how Centrion can connect to a vCenter and then automatically discover and monitor the ESX servers and all their virtual machines. Let's start by installing the three required plugin packs. To do so, go to Configuration Plugin Packs in the menu. In the category filter, select the Virtualization category and click on the search button. Now click on the plus icon to install the plugin pack. The VMware vCenter v6 plugin pack will appear. The manager here explains the plugin pack dependency that will be installed with the plugin pack. Click on the apply button. We also have listed the VMware ESX plugin pack and the VMware virtual machine plugin pack. As usual, for each plugin pack, you first need to read the prerequisites chapter of its monitoring procedure and carefully follow along all the installation and configuration instructions. Click on the help icon of each of the three plugin packs to access their monitoring procedure and follow the instructions of the prerequisites chapters. For VMware, you need to install the Centrion plugins, the Centrion VMware daemon, and configure it. But don't forget to start the daemon. When this is done, we can configure the monitoring of the vCenter platform. Let's go to Configuration, Hosts, Hosts in the menu and click the Add button. Then enter the following information. For the name, we're going to type in vCenter. For the alias, we're going to type in my vCenter. And for the IP address or DNS, for example, we're going to type in 192.168.0.1 Close to the templates, click on the Add a New Entry button to select the dedicated monitoring template, those installed by the vCenter plugin pack. In the list, search vCenter and select Virtual VMware 2 vCenter Custom. This template will add some custom macros and their default values. You may change these values to reflect your exact infrastructure configuration. This is detailed in the configuration chapter of the plugin pack monitoring procedure. Then click on the save button to store your configuration. Now is the time to automatically discover the ESX servers. Let's go to the configuration hosts discovery in the menu. To create a discovery task, click on the Add button. Now choose VMware ESX and click on Next. At this point, you need to set the connection parameters to access the VMware API. Again, according to the instructed details in the monitoring procedure. Click on Save and Run to start the discovery. A task has been created and will be executed within a few short seconds. Here we can see the task is now complete. Let's look at the result together. As you can see, four ESX servers were discovered and the proper monitoring template has been pre-selected for you. You can access details of the host by clicking on the information icon. Here we can see the ESX is part of the Centrion data center. Select all ESX servers and click on save. The ESX servers have now been added to the configuration. Our VMware infrastructure is now ready to be monitored, but let's add some virtual machines before deploying the full configuration. Click on the add button to create a task to discover your virtual machines. Now choose VMware Virtual Machine and click on the button Next. 
like earlier in the video, don't forget to set your VMware connection parameters and click on save and run to fully start your discovery process. Once it's complete, click on the task to go through the results. 274 virtual machines have been discovered and here you can visualize all items or use the search filter. In this example, we will select the virtual machines pertaining to the mail application. As for ESX, a predefined template has been pre-selected for you. Once your virtual machine is selected, click on the save and monitor button. And we're done. By using the save and monitor button, we've just added these virtual machines to the configuration as well as deploying the configuration to fully start your monitoring experience. Some hosts have already been checked, so let's click on the banner to directly access the results of our monitoring. Here, you can visualize all statuses. Let's verify the associated services by going to Monitoring, Status Details, and Services in the menu. Here we can see the first services. You'll see they're in the status unhandled problems. We can also visualize all those services in the OK status here as well. Thank you for following this tutorial and see you soon for a new one. Check out our other tutorials on Centrion's YouTube channel.